Hello and welcome to the Backyard Machine Shop. Well, today we've moved outside to do the heat treat on the angles. And what we're going to use the heat treat with is this, uh, these, um, this little scratch built oven here. And basically what it is, is it's a, uh, it's fire brick stacked up on top of um, a jet cooker I have with, with a grate in there to hold the, uh, the parts. Uh, it seems to work okay. I've, I've done a couple of things. I, I actually, I, I heat treated this tube here and uh, it's pretty hard. So uh, I think we'll be all right using it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to light it off and uh, we're going we're gonna to let it warm up for a minute. And then we're going to put the angles in it and, um, and heat them up to their, to their cherry red and like I said, and quench them in oil. So if you stand by, I'll light it up. So. Okay, here's how I'm gonna light it. I'm, I just got some newspaper and um, we're just gonna take and, and light the newspaper. It's kind of windy out here today, I hope. Hope everything goes all right. And uh, We got the newspaper. We got the gas fired off. We're gonna let it. Um, we're gonna let it warm up a little bit, and um, I'll bring you right back, and we'll put the parts in. Okay, guys. We're just gonna set set the block the parts in here. Try to stack them in here. We're trying to balance them out a little bit. Don't let them touch. bring the heat up on them. take a few minutes to heat them up. So I'm gonna cut everything off.
Okay, guys, we're back in the shop. Now, I wanted to share a little bit about what went on in that video. I mean, there, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, commentary in it. So, <coughs> basically, what you saw was about in, in real time 30, 35 minutes of video um, compressed into like 10 minutes, I think. But during that time, um, that little furnace worked that good too that we heated the blocks up and we got them as what I would call cherry red I don't know if I could have got them any hotter or if I got them hot enough I had no way of telling but they were they were red um, anyway we heated them up we uh, we then took and quenched them in about a gallon of canola oil uh, and then by the end I wish I'd had two or three gallons if I did it again I'd have a lot more because Towards the end, the last block, by the time it cooled off to the point where I got them out, that oil was pretty hot. So, you know, I, I misjudged that a little bit, but I think everything turned out all right. Uh, after we did that, now that video was shot a month ago. And about two weeks ago, when I had some time, I heat treated them or tempered them. And the way you tempered them, the way I tempered them, the book said we needed to heat them up 425 and hold it there for four hours okay so what I used to do it was I went down to the local thrift store and purchased a uh, a little toaster oven and it's got a 450 degree range on it and turned it to 425 placed the parts in there um, I took my little my little Harbor Freight thermal imager and uh, every now and then would open the door and shoot it and con consistently it was 415 to 428 somewhere in there um, if you left the door open a couple minutes it I, you know they would drop pretty quick but I kept them in the 400 degree range for uh, for the four hours I mean the whole time kind of puckering up waiting for the shop to burn down but you know we got through it all right so after we did that we ended up with with blocks and they have that pretty I ain't gonna say pretty. They have that 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 purplish, greenish uh, heat treat look to them, you know. So everything looks like they're going good. Um, I've checked them with a file, and um, I don't know if I have one here. Oh yeah, here we go. A little file. The file test shows that they they're just glancing right off, and. Um, you know, so they, they appear to be good and hard. I don't have a Rockwell tester, so I can't tell you if they're hard or not. And I mean, this is all an experiment for me. So, um, and then I have the 6030s also. And um, so, what we're about to do now, and it'll be in the next couple of videos, and I hope to have one out pretty shortly. But work's got me so busy, I don't, I don't know when I'm coming or going. So, I've actually started the grinding process on on it and um and there'll be a video on it and and they're turning out really nice i mean i you see i've got one missing so that one is the one that i've actually trying to work on the process for so we got um we got the blocks heat treated uh appears everything to be successful i wanted to uh to share a little video one or share a little commentary about it where i could post this video and um, let you know that I hadn't quit with it. I've had what when I'm not working 12 hours at my real job, I've had several jobs here just taking me into late at night trying to get them completed. And so what we're going to do is um, is we're going to continue with the, with the, with the um, angles as I can. I'll have the video of them. The next video will probably be on either setting them up and maybe starting to grind them it's a lengthy process having to do all the grinding so trying to figure out how to put that all together to where to be somewhat entertainable um, and I just wanted to share this with you so well I got some good news uh, I bought another lathe um, and I'll, I'll, I'll have, let y'all see that when I get it here It'll probably be a few weeks but uh, yeah I I went and looked at one and knew I shouldn't have bought it, but I bought it anyway. So, got to make room for that. And it's going to be a restoration project. I mean, it looks like it could run. It's been sitting for a while, and um, and, and I'll give you more details as I get it in here. Um, <clears throat> okay, guys, I think that's going to conclude uh, this video. I know it's not much to it, but 
I figured I'd at least give you an update on what was going on, uh, show you the little heat treat process, and that I am working on it. And um, like I said, I've been very, very busy at work uh, and really haven't had time to do much else. So uh, I want to thank um, all my new subscribers. I want to thank the guys that hit the, you know, just hit the like button and left the comments, love the comments. Um, so, I guess that's about it. Um, until the next video, which would be uh, grinding these things. Um, so long from the Backyard Machine Shop.